Hey everyone, you've got our Leos the Paladin here, and today we are looking at the Ominous Chromatic Essence. So you've gotten yourself the new trinket from Raid, and you're wondering what on earth does it mean uh, for me to attune with a nearby Dragonflight Oathstone. Um, so in order to actually get the benefit of this, uh, you do have to go and attune it. And if you remember when you were doing the... Um, the quests, if you've completed all of the storyline, you go around and free the various um, dragon shrines. So this is where we need to go to attune them. So I'm going to put the uh, the coordinates up for each different place that we need to go, um, but we've got a few different options. So you've got the bronze, which gives you haste, the azure, which gives you mastery, the emerald, which gives you crit, the ruby, which gives you versatility, and the obsidian, which gives you 128 of each secondary stat. Um, so there's a few different places that you're going to have to go to do it. So for the bronze, you're looking at Thaldrassus. Uh, and here are the coordinates. If you use TomTom, -tom, you can plug this into your TomTom -tom when you're in Thaldrassus, and it will take you there. Um, if you're looking for the mastery, you're going to go to the Azure Span with these coordinates on the screen now. Again, you can put these into your TomTom -tom add-on. Uh, it'll take you right to it when you're actually in the Azure Span. Uh, next, we have the Emerald, which is in the Onaran Plains. And then lastly, we've got the Ruby and the Obsidian, which are both in the Waking Shores. So I'm actually going to do a quick fly around now to each of these locations for you. Uh, we'll show on the map where they are. And I'll obviously cut my flight time out of here just so that uh, now you guys can see it quickly. So we've exited Valdraken for the Thaldrassus. We've put in our TomTom -tom command, and away we go. Alrighty. So, we have arrived at the Temporal Conflux, and we're looking at the Bronze Shrine. So, once you're near the Shrine of your choice, you click on your Trinket. It takes a moment to attune. And to know that it's worked, you can now look up in your debuffs, and it will show Bronze Residence. Your haste is increased by 540, or whatever level of Trinket you have, it'll increase your haste uh, by that amount for the Bronze one. So, again, all you do is click it. Um, there were some bugs where, when you're switching specs... Um, It'll mess with your uh, attunement. That should have all been fixed, but just to be safe, when you switch your spec, make sure you check your debuffs or your buffs to see if you've still got your resonance showing properly. Okay, next one we're going to go to the Azure Span. I'll obviously fast forward through my flight and just uh, appear at the shrine. So we're now in the Azure Span for the Mastery buff. We're at the Azure Archives, or just outside of them. This nice little blue pillar. Again, stand next to it, right-click your trinket, and once it has been used, you will show your buffs that your mastery has been increased. Alright, so that is for na mastery. Next one we're going to is crit, and that is going to be in the, the Onaran Plains. Alright, so we have arrived in the Onaran Plains. This is the Emerald Shrine. We are in the far west, as you can see. Again, stand next to it, use your trinket, this will tune you, and this is where you get crit. And now we will go investigate the last two, which are in the Waking Shores. So we've arrived in the Waking Shores, and this is the Obsidian Shrine, so this is where you're looking at getting uh, all of your secondary stats. So we are just south of the Obsidian Citadel. This is what it looks like. And we've got one last shrine to find. Okay, and the last one we're looking at is Ruby. Um, so this is going to be what you're looking at for your versatility. You're in the Ruby Life Shrine. Just outside of uh, Valdraken. This is what it looks like. Alright, so go ahead and pick whatever stat you want. Make sure you attune your crystal for whatever is best for you. Um, and if you do ever need to change it, all you do is fly to the given shrine. Uh, click on it, and it should now stay between spec changes. Um, so just keep an eye to make sure that you've always got your buff. Um, if you don't have it, you need to go reattune. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and subscribe. And we will catch you guys next time.